just like the brave Scandinavians who left their homes on longships in search of new horizons, a quest for knowledge and a promise of adventure awaits you. For three centuries, adventurers set sail in search of trade, land, and sometimes plunder, changing the world forever in ways that can still be felt today. We call these adventurers Vikings. Some remember them merely as brutal warriors and merciless conquerors. But there is much more to be learned about their rich and complex culture. History will come alive for you through the eyes of those who lived it. Norse merchants looking to make their fortune, an Anglo-Saxon monk in search of his life's meaning, and even King Alfred himself. You will follow their deeds, both great and small, as they navigate their eventful time in places known today as England and Norway. But fear not. Discovery Tour Viking Age is a safe, combat-free experience that you can enjoy at your own pace and in your own time. Tapping into the years of research of the Assassin's Creed Valhalla team, its content has been crafted in close partnership with renowned historians and academics. On behalf of the entire development team, we hope you enjoy Discovery Tour Viking Age. May the seas be kind on your journey. Father would be happy to come to the farmer's company. You'll be off raiding for months, not years. Shorter than your trade routes, even. The farm and I will still be here when you return. And return I shall. You had better, or I'll come find you. Trick, do you have any questions for me before I leave? No. I'll take good care of Gunhilda's reputation while you're away. <laughs> I doubt she'll need help, but I'll be glad to know you're here all the same. Come, Thorstein. The market waits for no man. Coming, my love. I'm coming, Gunhilda. He's a grown man, not an errant child. Slaves, talk, Gunhilda. If he returns to his family and says we mistreated him, I might find myself in a duel. No duels until you've worked on your swordsmanship. I'm sure to get practice on this expedition with Harold. Our enemies may not fight with blunted blades, but he's promised me the children of Stavanger are far more fierce. The children who struck you as you lay sleeping, then ran away laughing? You'll need to keep your wits about you, if so. Starvanger, as with many cities in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, is based on an existing city, also called Stavanger. To reconstruct it, 
level designers and artists used maps, pictures and drawings by archaeologist Jean-Claude Golvin as references, adding alterations for gameplay purposes. While not all the towns resembled Golvin's drawings, some iconic details helped give a Scandinavian signature to the towns and settlements of the game, easily recognisable by players. Narrow streets, docks and a salient longhouse in the distance, they all incite exploration and the need for adventure. Wolf, good morning. My mother loved the fine woolen cloak you sold me. The stitching is exquisite. Of course. My wife takes great pride in the needlework. With good reason. You must have been blessed by Heimdall, a vision so keen and hands so steady. Only a talented mother and a very patient husband. Give Alvik a kiss from me next time you see her. I will. Fortune guide you, friend. Just think, after a few raids, we'll have enough silver to leave this place for good. Just think, after a few raids, we'll... We'll have enough silver to leave this place for good. Have you not been happy here? With you, I would be happy anywhere. But Stavanger is small. Too small for the grand dreams of the shepherd girl. And why not? Even a worm may one day hold up the sky. <laughs> Come. Mikiel has promised to aid you in my affairs while I'm at sea. You'll have plenty of time to dream while I'm gone. Mikiel, it's a fine day for a little business, don't you think? Get away from here, Thorstein! I won't be seen dealing with an oathbreaker. A what? Keep your voices down. On what grounds do you base this outrageous claim? That is for you and Bjorn to discuss. I can't believe he'd betray me like this. You haven't known Mikiel that long. His own reputation first. Not him! Bjorn! Ah, oh, he's always sniffing about your trades like a wild dog. He envies your success and wishes to take it for himself. Well, we won't let him. We've worked too hard for him to take this chance away from us now. We will not let Bjorn get away with this, I swear it. Honor. Nothing but the truth. This sail your wife made, that you sold me, is as rotten as your intentions. You wish for me and my men to drown on the open ocean, where our bodies would never be found. Are you a fool? Even if I wanted to leave you stranded and sail west alone, Harold would never allow it. He would make me rescue you, and then we would all be doomed. I don't claim to understand you, Oathbreaker. But your methods are plain. I believe I'll go inform Harold of your duplicity. He should be arriving in a moment now. My love, 
That is no work of mine. I know. This was done by a hand far coarser than yours. Bjorn is trying to sabotage my place on the expedition. You cannot let him accuse you in front of the assembly. No chieftain would ever take you on again. I will not see my parents starve because of Bjorn's lies. Then I must gather evidence and bring his falsehoods to light. I will speak with the wives to rally them to our cause, and I will pray to the Haminja for guidance. Our ancestors will give you wise counsel, I'm sure. But I'll see you outside the assembly. If I were an impulsive wolf, where would I hide this? Tell me, did Bjorn accept any wares these past few days? Surely he did. I carried them myself. Wet and nasty they were, smelling as if they'd been stored at the water's edge. Did you happen to see what was inside? No, but it had that damp sheep smell. Wool, I suppose. Thank you, my friend. Oh, I hate that. Oh, 
after all. Warriors get some playtime. Indeed, it seems that Vikings played board games that involved throwing small objects, such as carved wooden figures. However, the team couldn't find any clear rules for these games. But all hope wasn't lost. The developers of Singapore, Chengdu, and Montreal. Friends, neighbors, listen to me. Bjorn has declared me Oathbreaker, calling my good name into question. We saw the sail. It would have torn in the first gust of wind. That was a sail he bought from Notfall, carried to us in sea-soaked wood. My wife's sail he kept aside for himself, to use once he reached the open sea. I am familiar with Gunhilda stitching. That sail was no work of her hands. What reason does Bjorn have to lie, if revealing the truth is as simple as you say? He hoped to turn Harold against me, to keep me from tomorrow's expedition, to hide the truth until I have already been exiled. If you care, for we who will travel with him, this insult cannot go unanswered. He would endanger his crew for a petty grievance. He is unworthy of command. Free men of Stavagan, 
hear me? We must inform the Assembly. We must inform Harold Jarl. Only then will our safe return be assured. Are you with me? The Assembly is about to start. Every detail matters when designing a main character. Personality, backstory, mannerisms. Eivor the Wolfkist must have a noticeable scar and tattoos to represent past events, beliefs, and clan affiliation. <laughs> I found your sale and the mark of the goods Bjorn claimed were ours. His lies are already falling apart. You've done well, but I fear what you have found may not be enough to convince the assembly. What will you do? I will demand a Manyatnata and declare my own deeds as evidence that my word holds more weight than Bjorn's. His reputation cannot compete with ours. A sound plan. I have rallied the wives to our cause and prayed to the gods. Even if you lose, my silver-tongued warrior, the women will make the assembly see reason. I see my heart beats as fiercely as ever. Go now. Reclaim our honor. Forseti, bless me as I defend my honor. Thorstein Oathbreaker! Come to beg forgiveness with your tail between your legs! Men of the Assembly, Bjorn claimed the sail I sold him was rotten. But I have found Gunhilda's work hidden, and the sail he claimed was mine came in sea-soaked wood from Notfall. He sought to ruin my reputation to cover up his poor trade, all so he could claim Harold's favor as his own. Thorstein, if what you say is true, Bjorn is guilty of lying, injury to your reputation, and of an arrogance that could have led to the deaths of his crew and yours. Yet he was the one to bring you before the assembly. So now you must choose. How will you defend your honor? We will have combat aplenty across the sea. I choose the Manyapnata. Come then. My tongue is as sharp as my blade. Declare yourself worthy, if you can. I'm the finest of navigators at home on the sea. If you're so at home, then it's where you should be. <laughs> Weak, Thorstein! Just like you. I was the first to be picked for this crew. I'm calling your bluff. That's not true. Believe it, Oathbreaker. Harald prefers me. You're a liar, a thief, and, and a braggart. A, a pest! Are you still here? I thought you had left. Enough! You both must know that attacking each other during a manyapnair is strictly forbidden. It's time for me to step in. It's clear that Thorstein is the one who has been wronged. It is my suggestion that Bjorn be removed from my expedition and exiled, never to return. 
His lands and trade goods will be forfeit, gone to pay the cost of finding another navigator with so little time to spare. No, Harald. I... Do not draw more of my wrath upon yourself. I could have named you a murderer and demanded your death. What say you, men of Stavanger? Do you accept the terms put forth by Harald Jarl? We choose exile. Exile. Exile! Then it is decided. Now come, Thorstein. We have a navigator to find. Brother Elrich, awaken. Had best not keep the abbess waiting. I know the journey was hard on you, so I'll let you sleep through the morning prayer. Good morning, abbess. Thank you. Now, the sun is rising. You must not miss Prime. I appreciate the reprieve and the awakening. <laughs> Call it a weakness. Your father's name will be a stone around your neck in Ely. Ah, you have a difficult path ahead of you. I'm afraid. Yes, Abbas. Well, there's nothing to be done about it. Better you prove yourself early than risk becoming the subject of gossip. I will, Abbas. You may break your fast in the kitchen with the others once your prayers are concluded. <laughs> we don't frown on piety here, brother. Should you wish to stay at chapel to pray to the Lord once your duties are concluded, you may be assured that food will be available to you, as long as you go to the kitchen before terse. That's mid-morning? Precisely, my son. I must not miss Prime. Yet the scriptures. Sanctificator nomen tuum. Adveniat regnum tuum. Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodi, et dimiti nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris. Et ne nos inducas in tentationem, 
sed liberamus amalo. Amen. Photogrammetry isn't just a very hard word to say, it's also an innovative technique for in-game texture. Time to eat. Brother Oswin, we must have silence at the Lord's table. <laughs> Brother, very well. Take him to the infirmary if you must. But the bishop shall hear of your defiance. Tell me, Oswin, where does it hurt? Everywhere, brother. It's like there's fire in my veins! I will find a way to ease your pain. I promise. It shall wear an ultra. I must find the monk in charge. Father Bertwald, was it? I hope you can treat that patient yourself. God in his in The patient speaks of fire in the veins, father. An uncommon ailment, and one I don't know by heart. The scribes often copy remedies in the scriptorium. You may be able to find something there to aid you. But if not, Sister Winifred will be able to help. Yes, father. Scriptorium. Right, I remember where that was. Can I help you, brother? No. 
No. Let me just... Oh, no. No luck. I'll have to ask Sister Winifred. Sister Winifred! I've looked but can't find a remedy. Tell me, what is the cure for fire in the veins? A dire challenge indeed. Ox's recipe for pain should aid us here. You will need double brood ale. Honey, fever few, and wormwood. Though with the raids nearby of late, and the early first frost, you may have trouble with the latter. Is there anything that can replace it? Well, I have heard that dust from a relic can have miraculous properties. We're blessed here in Ellie to have several. Perhaps, if you gather some, the saints will intercede on your patient's behalf. Thank you, sister. God bless you. Double brewed ale, honey, Fever few, and the dust of a relic. Should be simple enough. As the monastery of Ely had been destroyed, level designers... Level artists and designers used different types. Feverfew grows best in full sun. And hopefully if I... What does Feverfew look like again? Good morrow, brother. What brings you to the woods? Good morrow. Do you know where I could gather Feverfew or Wormwood? No Wormwood left this season. As for Feverfew, no small white daisies are what you seek. Thank you, brother. God bless you. Feverfew grows best in full sun, and hopefully far from the sister's bees. One found, three to find. nuns had set up to gather honey round here. Do I just take it, or...? Careful, brother. You wouldn't want to get stung. The bees jealously guard their golden hoard. I need honey for a remedy. 
Can you help me? Of course. Take the honey from the table. I'll gather more for the abbess. Thank you, sister. God bless you. The nuns had set up to gather honey round here. Honeymoon referred to the Scandinavian practice of giving newlyweds a moon cycle's worth. That's two. Halfway done. Relics are kept at the back of the chapel. And that's the third. Now for the last. When you see no to be dead, is nice. They might have ale in the kitchens. Is on the day, Christus, even this. I have everything I need. Now to mix it. Sister Winifred brought me the recipe from the scriptorium. And now I am delighted to discover you know the use of the mixing bench too. Would that God had sent you to me sooner? The infirmary would be in far better shape. I spent many summers mixing poultices for the townsfolk in Canterbury. Then I shall observe and hopefully learn some new tricks of my own. What was the first ingredient in Sister Winifred's remedy? Manure, right? Uh oh, wrong. The first ingredient is double brewed ale. Which two ingredients did you gather in the forest? It was feverfew and honey to ease the throat. What did Sister Winifred suggest you substitute for the final ingredient? A kiss from the abbot should... Wait a minute, we don't have an abbot, we have an abbess. Dust from a relic is said to cure many ills. There. Done. This should ease Brother Oswald's pain. Here, brother. Drink this. It will ease your pain. Thank you, brother. I can feel it working already. How fortunate I am that God sent you in my time of need. Rest now. Soon you'll be back on your feet. 
Brother Elrich, you must come at once. What's the matter, brother? Do you not hear the bells? The abbess requires your presence at chapel immediately. I'll go as soon as I'm done helping Brother Oswin. No, you must go now. Hurry! I hope the abbess will tell me what's going on. Come with me, Brother Elrich. The heathens are on their way, and we must secure the relics before they approach. Then we shall all flee together? No, Brother. The others prepare to fight. Collect the reliquary, please. Forgive me, blessed saints, but I must carry you from your place of rest. Now come, we have no time to spare. Take the relic to your father. Our families may share no love, but we are of a mind when it comes to the Lord. He will know what to do. That man is a stranger to me. As was our Lord Jesus Christ when he died on the cross for our sins. Help often comes from unexpected hands, brother. Now, follow quickly. Into the catacombs. Remain swift and silent. He leads me beside the still waters. 